Hi, this is Andrea Towers with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com at New York Comic Con, and I am here with the cast of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to New York Comic Con. How has it been being here, and now that your show's out, because when you were in San Diego, you didn't have the show out yet, so it was just a lot of anticipation from fans, and now the episodes are out, people have theories, it's this whole new world. How is it being at Comic Con, and how have you seen that reaction? I can't wait to hear some of the theories and to what people have been saying. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. You don't go and search for your own theories? <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, I forgot about that. It's just you make it so easy and conversational. I forgot, I forgot about the technical aspect. Do you know what I find really tricky compared to San Diego is remembering what we're allowed to say now. Because mm. things have come out. San Diego, we yeah. couldn't say anything, and that was kind of easier. Now it's like going, okay, how many episodes have come out? What are we allowed to say? And what, what can't we say? I find that really tricky. Yeah. I agree. It was <laughs> When we were in the mystery of it, it was um, an easier game to play. Now it's sort of which pieces of the puzzle are already out there and which things are we kind of preserving for fans. I think I already blew something this morning in another interview. <laughs> Oh no! I'm not going to repeat it now. <laughs> All right, good. Save save my job ben here. Looked at me as if to say, "What are you doing?" <laughs> well, what's been one of the uh, most fun things about seeing fans react to this this show and this world and your characters? I think with the characters who they knew and have never been seen before, uh, 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 opposed to characters who are new. Uh, to the show, um, I think there's been a certain satisfaction in seeing how they have uh, liked the way that we've gone about it. I think there have been differences. Uh, like, you know, I always say this, in any adaptation of any novel, people are always going to go, mm, that's not how I saw it. But I think yeah. what's been wonderful about this is that they've gone with it and uh, it's paying, paying off now. Also the cosplay. Yeah, I mean, amazing. to see people dress yeah. up as us and show up is just... It's just kind of incredible. Mm. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a teaser for the for the finale. Yes. Uh, well, we've seen teasers, and uh, we see Caleb uh forging some some rings that seem do important. We? We I, do. I haven't seen this teaser. We do. Uh, what can you tease about that? Very little. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very little. I'm afraid. He's making some anklets. Yes, he's moving. He's moving into a small bijou business. Uh, he's going to go sell them off, and yeah. you know, and so he's, he's on Etsy now. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, how much fun is it to be a Harfoot? Um, it is uh, such a joy to be a Harfoot, and one of the great things about being a Harfoot is the way JD and Patrick ha have envisaged their world. Because I've been such a fan of the Lord of the Rings since I was a kid, and I loved the Hobbits, still love the Hobbits. And watching um, the rich history that JD and Patrick have created has been incredible. And just being like running around in the forest is just so, so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, and Leon, you are a newer character. Um, you are a brand new character, we're one of the new that we're talking about. Um, how has that experience been finding the character alongside kind of a mix of, of new characters and ones that fans know from the books and, um, and you know, the lore? It's been really fun. I mean, I've got some information about my father, about Numenor from the lore. So I had footholds and then I had space in between to dream. I felt that there was so much support as well. We had um, lore experts and... Uh, dialect coaches, movement coaches, everyone was there to help me work out the right thing to bring to the table. And um, I've had a ball. Um, uh, so what can you tease about uh, the finale that's coming up for fans? I, I think it's, uh, if we can tease anything, it is the beginnings of the storyline slowly starting to merge, perhaps. Mm. Mm. Uh, heading in a direction that may unify or otherwise <laughs> where we have spent the last It will all start to weeks. make sense, yeah. I would say. Will we see Bronwyn riding on horseback again? I mean, w w for the first time, yes. May <laughs> maybe, <laughs> possibly for the first time. For the first time. I, I would actually like to see Halfwoods on horseback. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> that's that's that. a whole spin-off. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that, that could be a whole new Tolkien uh, <laughs> <be>. uh, anecdote. <laughs> uh, 
I, well, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is currently airing on Amazon Prime. You can catch up on all episodes now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thanks much. so much.